never in an explosion. It's a horrible feeling. You'll never, you'll never forget it. 15 people died in the March 23rd explosion. 170 others were treated at area hospitals. My motivation for working at the Chemical Safety Board is to literally help make the world a safer place to work. The U.S. Chemical Safety Board, headed by five members appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate, is an independent federal agency charged with investigating industrial chemical accidents. Look at that! Oh, man! Oh, wow! Oh, my God! There went several things! Holy cow! Our mission at the Chemical Safety Board is to save the lives of workers and the public and protect the environment by preventing chemical accidents. Tonight, fire officials say they still don't know what sparked the fire, but federal investigators are now on the way. We do in-depth, comprehensive investigations of incidents. We find out the facts of the case, what went wrong, what went right, and what safety recommendations we can make to make the workplace safer. CSB board members and investigators deploy to the sites of chemical accidents, often where there has been loss of life, serious injury, or a threat to a neighboring community. Really, you're trying to just get, initially, just the lay of the land. Where can you go, where you can't go, what the hazards are for the people. Investigators examine the accident site and interview witnesses as they begin to unravel the causes of the accident. The CSB is not looking for blame. The CSB is looking for solutions. And when we have findings in an investigation, their purpose is not to place blame, but to make a change that will prevent the accident from occurring again. The really important thing about CSB investigations is the fact that they are indeed neutral. They're not about an enforcement activity. They're not about generating a report that is going to be used in court. They are about understanding and addressing the risks and how people might have been able to prevent the incident from occurring. The Chemical Safety Board has been a tremendous asset uh, to the Fire Marshal's Office in the state of West Virginia and to the Fire Service in the state of West Virginia. State Fire Marshal Sterling Lewis first worked with the CSB following a devastating propane explosion that killed four people near his hometown in West Virginia. I'll have to admit, uh, when, when we first uh, became aware of, of you folks, uh, we were a little bit leery that you were from the federal government and you were big brother. And, uh, but I learned real quick your dedication, your professionalism, your need to know uh, to help us uh, was just uh, exciting for me to find that out. At the public meeting, for us to be able At CSB headquarters in Washington, D.C., team members meet regularly to analyze the evidence, develop theories, and ultimately come to conclusions about what happened. Catastrophic incidents, like the ones the Chemical Safety Board investigates, are never caused by a single operator flipping the wrong switch or one piece of equipment that just malfunctions. These incidents are the result of a number of causes. We at the CSB pride ourselves in producing quality investigation. With a complex accident, it can take time to piece together the evidence and determine the root causes. But we can move very quickly when we pinpoint a situation that needs immediate attention. The CSB may issue safety bulletins to alert companies or other organizations to take action on critical safety concerns. And the CSB may issue urgent safety recommendations. In the instance of BP, we became aware of the issue of employees being housed in trailers that were close to a, a hazardous process. We issued an urgent recommendation to prevent this from occurring, not only at the BP facility, but throughout industry. Another urgent recommendation called on BP to convene an independent panel to examine and publish a report on the company's safety culture. Former Secretary of State James Baker headed the panel. We believe that the safety of other refineries, chemical plants, and process facilities will be improved and that lives will be saved. 
Often, midway through an investigation, the board convenes an interim public meeting near the accident site to update the community on findings and listen to concerns about the accident. Right about 10.35 p.m., the residue treater violently ruptured. Approximately 2,500 gallons of methamyl solvent liquid was suddenly released into the roadway, and a fire almost immediately erupted. This accident could have been prevented. It should have been prevented, and these two people should have went home to their families that night. The feedback that we receive from the community and the individuals in the workplace helps to ensure that we're on the right path and that the work that we're doing is making a difference. When CSB investigations are complete, the board holds a public meeting to present investigation findings and recommendations and takes comments from members of the public, local officials, and elected representatives. CSB and the Department of Fire Services agree on pretty much everything. We agree on the cause of the fire and explosion, and we agree on the importance of increased inspection and enforcement to protect the public um, and the regulated community. Thank you for keeping in mind that this was not just about an industrial accident. This was about people, families, and businesses. The Chemical Safety Board has been great. I, I wouldn't have been able to learn as much as I have learned about all this stuff um, if, it, if it wasn't for how helpful the CSB has been. The Chemical Safety Board being open and honest and communicating and being, you know, approachable really helped us to answer all, a lot of our questions, and so we really appreciated that. Right. Mr. Chairman, I uh, move that the board approve the CSB investigative report uh, regarding the agency's investigation. The motion passes by a vote of three to one. Your work is extremely important. I believe it's going to become more and more critical. I believe your workload is going to increase, not diminish. We believe our safety recommendations if they are adopted, can have a powerful effect on chemical process safety. The board issued recommendations to OSHA to promulgate a regulation. To An ideal CSB recommendation is one that focuses very precisely on the action by an agency, an industry segment, a union, or any party that can bring about change that will prevent the same accident from occurring in similar workplaces. Federal investigators from the U.S. Chemical Safety Board in a final report will call for New York City to revise its fire prevention codes that date back from 1918. A CSB investigation found that a large explosion in a Manhattan commercial building in 2002 occurred when workers mixed hazardous chemicals in a waste barrel. The CSB discovered that New York's antiquated fire code did not adequately regulate the handling of such chemicals. On June 3, 2008, Mayor Michael Bloomberg signed legislation that implements CSB recommendations by establishing a new fire code for the city of New York. The explosion happened after a large quantity of molten plastic was dumped into a containment vessel all at once. In addition to investigating chemical accidents, the CSB also conducts studies of significant chemical hazards. Seconds later, the solvent vapor in the building exploded. A two-year CSB study identified the hidden dangers from reactive chemicals, leading the CSB to recommend regulatory changes at the EPA and OSHA. Another important CSB study concerned the dangers of combustible dust, undertaken following a series of industrial dust explosions and fires. In its report, the CSB recommended that OSHA issue a regulatory standard to control combustible dust hazards in the workplace. Former CSB Chairman John Bresland was called upon to testify on the need for such a regulation after the catastrophic 2008 dust explosion and fire at the Imperial Sugar Refinery in Port Wentworth, Georgia. This accident was preventable. Combustible dust is an insidious workplace hazard when it accumulates on surfaces, especially elevated surfaces. After witnessing the terrible human and physical toll from the Imperial explosion, I believe the urgency of a new combustible dust standard is greater than ever. Madam Chair and members of the committee, this is a very serious piece of legislation and a very important piece of legislation. That's a result of a study from the Chemical Safety Board, an independent agency that may be the gold standard in terms of independent review of accidents. 
I believe that the strongest persuasive power that the CSB has to implement recommendations is to make them very public and to have the recipients and other interested stakeholders um, be aware of the importance for prevention of implementing the recommendations. Safety videos are one successful tool used by the CSB to make its findings and recommendations public. These videos, which are in wide use throughout the industry and elsewhere for safety training, graphically depict the causes of chemical accidents and are based on actual CSB investigations. Videos have been a tremendously effective way for our agency to fulfill its mission of preventing accidents. Really, in 10 or 15 minutes, we can get out all the basic information from our investigations, and we can get it out to a much wider audience of people than who would otherwise see our reports. The safety videos on incidents is very important because 99% of our employees who are currently working in DuPont have never experienced one of these catastrophic events. So the videos, in a virtual way, allow us to share how bad it can get and uh, what we can do to prevent them from occurring in our own company. Tens of thousands of DVDs have been distributed free of charge, and the videos have been viewed and downloaded millions of times online, where they are available at csb.gov and on YouTube. The inevitability of accidents is just obviously not true when I look at the CSB videos. It's quite obvious when I look at those that there were many points where the incident could have been stopped, it could have been prevented. The CSB concluded that repeated starting and stopping of the pump, air in the transfer piping, and the likely presence of water and sediment in the tank all contributed to rapid static charge accumulation. That kind of message in a neutral format, where somebody is not being penalized, not being litigated against, uh, is critical. The tower steadily filled with liquid, reaching a height of 98 feet shortly before noon. But the improperly calibrated level indicator told operators in the control room that the liquid was at 8.4 feet and gradually falling. The feedback we're getting from uh, our investigations and our safety videos is that they're really making a difference, that companies and industry groups are using the information to help make the workplace safer. We are continually trying to expand the CSB's influence in chemical process safety. And as part of that effort, we decided to open up a field office in Denver, Colorado in 2008. At the same time, we are always actively recruiting promising young graduates to the Chemical Safety Board from a variety of disciplines. We know from experience that these young graduates are highly committed to the CSB's mission of protecting workers, the public, and the environment. The Board's work has led to more plant inspections, better protections for workers, and more attention to safety issues in corporate boardrooms. Support for uh, the Chemical Safety Board will help save lives, protect communities, and reduce costly shutdowns. The workers in, the, in surrounding communities deserve a safe environment, and it's my hope that your efforts, Mr. Chairman, and the efforts of the, the Safety Board and all of us can, uh, can ensure that that will be the safest possible environment to work in. That is the mission of the CSB to save lives of workers and the public, and to protect the environment by preventing chemical accidents. Our main objective at the end of the day is for workers to feel that they can arrive at work, perform their duties, and go home in the same condition as when they arrived. That's not an unrealistic expectation. We at the CSB have a very important mission. For me, the most satisfying outcome is knowing that we are making a difference. We believe that our work is helping to make the industry safer.